Hello everyone and welcome to another World Saints E tutorial. In this video I'm going to be showing you how you can install the Windows 10 Insider Preview on a virtual box machine. Okay, so let's get started. So the first thing you're going to need to do is go over to the Microsoft website and download the ISO image. So if you're not sure where to get this, you can either get it from the description below or from our website, or you can actually just Google Download Windows 10. So once you're on this page, you can scroll down a bit further to the bottom and click the download link which is appropriate for you. Mine is going to be the English United Kingdom version. So for example, if you click on that and then click download, you should see that's about 3.78 gig. Okay, so once that's finished downloading, you're going to need to go over to the directory where you actually store your downloads. Um, and that should have a file in there, something like Windows 10 Installer Preview x64. If you did download a different version, then it would obviously have a separate name, but I'm sure you can figure that out for yourself. Okay, so as I said, I will be installing this in a VirtualBox machine. So in order to do this, we're just going to open up VirtualBox Manager, and then we can actually create a new machine. So once you've opened up the VirtualBox, you can then go to New. So when you type in the name, you might find that it actually does select the correct operating system for you. But if not, you can just select it from the drop-down list. Uh, the best one to choose is Windows 10. It may work with Windows 8 if you don't have the option for Windows 10. But it is best to get the latest version of VirtualBox just so it does have the Windows 10. Okay, so as I said, you can give it whichever name you like. But if you did do Windows 10, the name it probably would select that for you anyway. Okay, so if you go to next, you can choose the amount of RAM you want to give it. So I'm giving it 4 gig. You can then go ahead and create a new virtual disk, or you can select one if you already have one. The disk space I'll be using will be 60 gig, so you can go ahead and select that. And you're pretty much done. So if you go to the settings, we can change a couple of things. I'm going to give it a quad core CPU, just so that it is a little bit more powerful. We can then also go to the storage and actually select the disk image. This just means that it will actually boot to the correct place instead of having to manually select it. And now we can actually start the virtual machine. Okay, so it might take a few seconds to actually start up, but when it does, we should see a screen that looks something like maybe come on you can do it there we are okay so you can select the correct language for you if you did download the english version for example it would automatically select those details for you and then you can click install so i'm going to pause the video here and i'll see you when the install process um actually gets to the bit where you can choose which disk you want to install it to Okay, so the first screen we see is the accept license terms. So if you do that, then you can go to custom install Windows only. There is the option to install it with Windows, but we'll just go ahead and do this. Okay, so this is the lengthy process. I'm going to pause it here and I'll see you once the install is complete. Right, when the install is finished, you should see a screen that looks like this. For this tutorial, we're just going to be using the Express settings. And then we don't have to get into the nitty gritty stuff, but most of the stuff is the things you'd like to leave on anyway, so I'm not going to really bother about it. Okay, so as I said in here, it may take a moment, so I'm just going to pause it and then I'll speak to you again when it's back. Right, and when we see this screen, we're just going to be choosing that it does belong to us. I will say that this is a new build that has come out today, so I'm not entirely sure the difference between the two, but I'll just do it so that it is um, selected that it does belong to me. And we can then choose to sign in with a Microsoft account. Um, there should be a way of creating a local account if you go to the sign up process, at least that's the way it was before. However, I'm just going to be signing up with my Microsoft account just so that we can use Cortana when it comes to using that. So I'm going to pause here again and 
I'll see you once the install or the sign up process is complete. And now that the install is complete, you should see a screen that looks like this. Uh, just so you can reference things in future videos, uh, you can find the build version down here. That might become relevant when I start doing more videos on this if you do decide to continue watching them um, as things might change through different builds. Okay, well, thank you for watching and I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you do have any questions, please make sure to ask them either below or over on the forum. And if you do want to see any more videos like this, please make sure to hit that subscribe button. I will be coming up with some more tutorials to do with Windows 10, including one um, specific there, sorry, <laughs> specifically for VirtualBox, which will allow you to adjust the screen resolution to 1080p. And I'll also be doing another one showing you how you can access Cortana if you're in the United Kingdom. As, as of the last build, it wasn't enabled here. So you do have to do a bit of tinkering to get it available. But as I said, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.